looking pretty good. All right, let's go. Tops triple threads. Arizona Diamondbacks, Steve DeLeon. Atlanta Braves, Steve Liang. Anthony has the Orioles. Michael has the Red Sox. Dennis has the Cubs. Matt has the Chicago White Sox. Aaron has the Cincinnati Reds. Uh, Brian P. has the Cleveland Indians. Uh, Colorado is Michael. Uh, Detroit is Curtis. Houston is Dennis and an Allen split. Uh, Kansas City is Terry Gardner. L.A. Angels is Phillip. Derek has the L.A. Dodgers. Anthony has the Miami Marlins. Phillip has the Brewers and the Twins. Jerry has his New York Mets. Charlie has the Yankees. Man, the Yankees were good in the first side, weren't they? Uh, Aaron had the Oakland Athletics. Derek has the Philadelphia Phillies. Brian has the Pittsburgh Pirates. San Diego is owned by Phillip. Barry has the San Francisco Giants again. Phillip has the Mariners. Greg has his Cardinals again. Greg Cardinals were really good on the other side too. Phillip has the Tampa Bay Rays. Allen has the Rangers and the Blue Jays. And Terry Gardner has the Washington Nationals. It's 829 and I am going to open the case of cards. I'm telling you, when Jason Birch is not around, RK becomes incredibly Ooh. efficient. Incredibly efficient. We're just going to call RK efficient. I'm not even reading all you guys' comments, even though I see a couple in there, because it's just going to slow me down. I will catch up on comments after I open a pack. Look at that. Let's go. Even though this break is a short break, for some reason my customers feel the need to give me crap about my timing. And I am proving it's Jason's fault, not mine. <laughs> You guys all sound like my wife. I'm just letting you know. All. Every one of you sounds like my wife. What's up, Gino? There's somebody that knows how good the Hawkeyes are. Gino, they're bad-mouthing my team still. Look at that case. That case is loaded. Oh, no. Iowa State and Pittsburgh are okay. Pittsburgh, I think, might be decent. They hit hard. Iowa State might be bad. I hope so. I don't want Iowa State to be good. We play at Wisconsin in two weeks. That'll be tough. <laughs> they never start on time. There they are. Box number one. Good luck, everybody. I missed a ton of chat in there. That was just because I was hurrying. Just to beat Greg and Shimmy. Oh, yep. Outside the box. Normal rules, guys, this is a team break, and there are lots of triples in here, so keep in mind. Unfortunately, if you got one team and somebody else has two on it, they win the card. I keep wanting to say that that's actually never really happened on a big card in my room, but I don't want to say that because it'll happen and I'll feel bad. But it is the rule for... The multiple team owners. <laughs> if you have zero teams, you are no chance. Let me mod a few people up that I see all the time in different rooms that I know are good. Welcome, guys. Hopefully, we'll hit something big for you here to see. How you doing, Chris? Steve? Chris and Steve are two of my nicer 
customers that don't harass me. If people weren't giving me crap, I wouldn't know what to do. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The two parallels. First one's a nice one for Anthony. That's a Cal Ripken to 50. I ain't showing the clock anymore. And Honus Wagner to 354. Base cards. We got Michael Brantley, Carlos Gomez, and a Carlos Correa rookie. <laughs> I would care, Jerry, unless, especially you. Jerry's definitely on the nicer side of my customer list. That's a nice card. Shouldn't that be worth something? That's Carlos Correa's Triple Threads rookie. It's got to be worth 10 bucks, isn't it? I would think so. Are Ichiro the only card that's a redemption in the middle of the pack? Alright. Here's card number one. The Red Sox lead it off. 0 4 50 of Dustin Pedroia. Congrats, Michael. You got card number one. Oh, I need to grab some thicker sleeves. I didn't grab them. Oh, nice card number two. Bombs away. 26 to 27 of Mike Trout. Not a horrible first pack. Trout does not want to focus, though. Congrats, Philip. I think Philip has the Angels. Yep. And Michael. I got no Jason tonight, so I might go a little slower on the cards. Because he bailed on me and decided to work his regular job. Pack two. <laughs> Gene, were you at the game this weekend? I had 45 yard line tickets. I got so lucky to get him. People are jumping back on the bandwagon for college football. It was awesome. A 57 yard field goal to walk off is a lot of fun. Sunny Gray out of 250. And Nolan Ryan out of 354. Alan, I don't think we hit much for you last time either, did we? We need to hit some Rangers Blue Jays. I think you had a pretty weak break. Used up all your luck in that Bowman Chrome box. Ride Carew. Hey, how you doing? Is that Anthony or AJ? Ride Carew or Ozzy? How you doing, Anthony? Good to talk to you, man. I hit a Cal Ripken number to 50 in the first pack, but that's the only card that I think you've hit so far, but that's not bad for the first pack. Hey, that's a good base card for Dennis. I don't think Dennis is in here yet. Bryant Rookie. I had a Brian and a Correa on this side of the case. A 
Card number one. Oh, man. Well, it's a Yankee for Charlie. C. C. Sabathia. Two of 18. Not sure how strong CC autos go for these days. I'm guessing not as good as the last. The Yankees in the other side of the case were phenomenal. A Derek Jeter one of one. And a Derek Jeter to nine. Not yet. I got a relic here though. Of Dominic Brown. 15 of 18 with the pinstripe for Derek. And we're one in, eight to go. Yeah, triple relic, but it had a tag on it though, Eric. And you know how Jeter is. You got something different, like a tag on there. Hell, like a little uh, tag on the jersey part of Jeter. Probably pretty strong. It's a. Uh, the person that had it, though, was not selling, so. He's a Jeter PC that. Or a Yankees PC that will probably keep it forever. Parallel cards. Jackie Robinson, 72 of 250. And Cargo out of 354. Got two base cards. Cal Ripken Jr. and Freddie Freeman. We got a Tanaka base. First card. Uh, Facebook. I do tri I do usually real high end stuff only on Facebook. Game jersey two of ninety nine of Matt Moore for the Tampa Bay Rays. Was out. He is back now. Was out for a year. Let's see if we can improve on that. Card though there for Phillip, I think. Second card for Phillip. There's a card that Anthony will like. Jose Fernandez. Jersey bat jersey. 35 of 36. Got bat parts in there in the middle there, Anthony. I know you were disappointed you lost the uh, triple that had Fernandez on it last time, so that is all yours. Were you on that too, Matt? What was that, Scherzer? Sale and Fernandez? Yeah. You guys, we're on uh, Breakers and Box Busters. I got an IM, but I don't think I'll be able to see it. Okay. Greg, I actually know that. What you IM me, I know that, but I just went with it before. Chase Utley at a 250. I know exactly what you're saying, though. I figured that out last time. Lou, uh, Lou Gehrig out of 354. Couple base cards. Kershaw and Ortiz. Anthony Rizzo base. Now for the two hit cards. 
You guys, uh, there's Boxbusters has a Facebook page now where they're going to center the organization on it. I'll drop the link later. If you haven't joined it yet, I think it just started today. You should join it. It'll be good for announcements. Three-piece jersey auto of Aaron Sanchez, 62 of 99. All right, we need a big auto. We're slumping a little bit. Relic card is Mike Zunino, 4 of 36. Seattle catcher that has not lived up to his potential. Two boxes down. It can only get better. Yeah, I posted the link earlier for it. I think it's a good idea, actually. The site needed a spot where people could look and see what's live and what's not live as far as organization. Yeah. I believe so, Gene. I'm not sure if he's sharing it with somebody or not, but he's the main man on it now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Box three, pack one. Parallel cards, Jacoby Ellsbury to 250 and Chase Utley to 354. Base cards, David Peralta and Troy Tulowitzki. Hey Matt, you're a Pirates fan. Did you see that? Um, did you see that patch of McCutcheon on eBay? That thing is absolutely crazy. Out of this product, isn't that nuts? One of you guys should um, copy and paste that into the chat so people can see it. That's the one thing about triple threads I like is you get some crazy relics like that. Ventura base card. That's one of the neatest cards I've seen this year. Reimer Lariano for the Padres, 6 of 99. Yikes. Time for Shimmy to relieve me. Reimer is actually better than a couple of the other Padres, but... Jersey for the Padres, Jed Gorko, 18 of 18. Thanks, Greg. Just don't don't uh, tag it on breakers, or I'll get in trouble. I can verbally say it, but don't uh, paste it on breakers. I'm gonna get in trouble if I don't hit a freaking card. Adam Jones out of 125 and Ricky Henderson out of 354. It's got to. Base cards, Warren Spahn and Daniel Murphy. The highlight of this case so far has been base cards of Chris Bryan and Carlos Correa. And I don't think that's really exaggerating much. Pedroia Jersey Auto is probably the best hit card. Jackie Robinson. Base card. I don't know, but that card is crazy good. You have to cut, look it up and watch count. Did it? Act, I didn't even realize it sold. I just saw it when it was active. Nine twenty-six. I would have held out a little bit longer. That's good money, but 
He sold it quick. 14 of 25, rookie jersey auto, Dalton Pompey. Yeah, I know it's non-auto, but that card is about as unique as you can get. It's got another level of uniqueness. That is a lot of money. I'm not disagreeing with you. I probably just would have waited a little bit. There's no way you can go wrong on that. Late show jersey card. 3 of 18 of David Wright. We did get a trout jersey in the first pack too. That's probably the best uh, relic card. Card there for Jerry. Late show David Wright. Who actually did good to come back this year. Alright. It can only get better. Six boxes left. Honestly, with the McCutcheon card, I would have kept it for at least a week just to look at it. I think it's that neat of a card. You you know, you go through cards all the time. Sometimes you get something that looks pretty unique. It is. I started kind of pouring that first case too, though. Especially for the Cardinals. Cardinals were really good on the other side. We're not done though. We can get hot. Joey Gallo, 17 of 99. And Maurer out of 250. Got a Trout base card right on the front. And a base card of Johnny Bench. A Bo Jackson base card. Didn't I take out the two parallels? I got three cards left. Did I get an extra card? Or is this a base card? Well, let's just go through them one on one. Can't figure out if I got an extra card or not. First card here. What's up, Chew? Have you seen it? Well, it needs to be good because I am struggling. Hey, Allen is on the board again. Dalton Pompey, 51 of 77. <laughs> we didn't hit any Blue Jays in the first one. Second card. It's a relic of Pedro Alvarez, 13 to 27. And the last card, I don't know what this is. I'm thinking extra hit, but got a rookie stamp that's good and a sticker oh you got to be kidding me I thought this was going to be huge Kevin Plowicki 50 of 99 extra hit that I thought was going to be Correa or Bryant or something like that Kevin Plowicki <laughs> it's yours Jerry at least give him Noah Syndergaard or something like that. All right. Joe DiMaggio out of 125. <laughs> Is luck playing that bad? And Stanton out of 354. This is the most Andrew Luck bashing I've ever seen in my life. We got... Now oh, the cards are out of order in this one. Oh, no, they're not. I'm sorry. Whitey Ford. Roger Clemens. Andrew McCutcheon.
Two hits. First one. It's a red bird. Carlos Martinez, 61 of 75. Martinez is good. 61 of 75. Nice card for the Cardinals. And the relic card. Legends, number 20 to 27. The teeing off, Mark McGuire. For the athletics. Well, that was the best pack so far. There's no doubt about it. The trout jersey was nice. I got five packs left. Philip, I don't know if you saw that you did hit a uh, a nice trout jersey in the first pack. Unfortunately, it didn't have ink on it. Not a monster card, but compared to this case, one of the best cards so far. Last five boxes. Dennis hit a big one. 10 per, 140 spots. Mark McGuire at a 250 and Johnny Cueto at a 354. Cole Hamill's base and Bryce Harper base. Well, we got something tougher, I know that. Chris Archer base. This is going to be our chance to hit a nice card. I think we might have a white whale, but I'm not sure. Looking awful silverish. Peek this way and see if I see a one of one. That is a, that's probably a printing plate auto, isn't it? Rick Porcello, White Whale. Man, I thought it was going to be Pedro when I saw the Red Sox. Rick Porcello, White Whale. Congrats, Michael. I thought it was Pedro. It's an awesome patch card. Seventy-seven pitch perfecto is the title. One of one white whale. Poor <laughs> That's your team, Dennis, right there. That's your team. <laughs> Congrats, Michael. I thought it was Pedro, man. I really did. Next card is a jersey card of Carlos Martinez, 26 of 27. I think they've pretty much always done that on triple threads, haven't they? With the stickers. Your Donna Ventura, 4 of 25. I think they do it with Supreme, too, that's coming out this week. I'm probably going to do one case of Supreme on Wednesday, and then I'll see what it's like if I do any more. Bryce Harper, 354. I did a lot of Supreme last year, but it was only because it went down so fast and I got a great deal on the cases. Johnny Cueto and Lou Gehrig. I think I did like six cases of Supreme last year. Five of them after they had gone down. Base card Jason Hayward. Made a nice play the other day.
I agree, Michael. All right, auto card. Steve is on the board. Shelby Miller, 21 of 75. And the relic is for Terry. 9 of 36, your Donna Ventura. First Frosh, I guess is the name. Is Yadi out, Greg? Four left. Shelby has nice clean autos. Tomorrow night we got the football break. <clears throat> There's about 15 teams left. It's a cheap mixer. Almost all the teams are 20 to 30 bucks. And it's 10 boxes. And then Wednesday night we'll probably do Top Supreme Baseball with Jason and Thursday we got Bowman Chrome player break on eBay always double checking those boxes keep forgetting Nolan Ryan at a 125. And King Griffey Jr. at a 354. Ricky Henderson and Puig base cards. Will Myers. All right, how about a good name? Kenny Vargas, 27 of 99. Struggling. Legends, 300 wins, early win, 6 of 18. That's kind of a neat card, Brian. Little Cleveland PC there out of 18 for Brian. Next pack. Now well, there's a thick card in this pack. Oh, we got a plate. I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. We got a printing plate. Oh, sweet. Thank God we helped the Cubs a little bit. That's Addison Russell, I think, isn't it? Yes. Rookie printing played out of triple threads of Addison, Dennis. You got to be able to get a little bit back on that card. Dennis, if you want me to list that one right away, let me know. I saw those cards pretty well. Uh, Rizzo, 250. Addison Russell, rookie card. Matt Kemp. Jonathan LaCroix. Base. This one's a little thicker. Come on, be a good name. How about a trout or something on that level? Top tier. Number five of nine, Ryan Howard. That's a pretty cool uh, 
relic patches there for a Phillies fan. Who has the Phillies? That's Derek's. Nice card for Derek. I don't think I've hit you anything on the Dodgers so far, Derek. It's a start for the Phillies. Ryan Howard. And the last card I already accidentally saw. 14 to 36, Ian Kinsler. Well, it's getting a little better. We got three left. That Trout could have been huge. I like the Addison Russell. Or I mean that Howard could have been huge. Still a good card, but... I was thinking a little bigger. I agree. Howard still's got fans. Howard sells a little bit. Something that nice, you can get something out of it. <laughs> it would have been. The patches were great. There's no doubt about it on the, on the Howard. Look how much thicker the pack on the left is than the right. What do you guys think? Oh, crap. I switched the packs real quick. Let's do the small pack first. Make sure it doesn't have a redemption card in it, which still would be good. Could just be an extra hit too, which might be good. No redemption card. Parallels are Rizzo out of 125. That would be fun. Machado 354. Remember multiple player cards, guys. Majority, you need majority to win, 51%. Otherwise, it's going to random. Anthony Rendon and Alex Gordon. Adrian Gonzalez, base. Got something different after this card, I think. Autograph, Jersey, Mike Zanino, 7 of 50. This guy's fouling me around. Not this one. The next card looks different. I don't know if it's a duel or if I'm just seeing something. Yeah, it's a triple. It's a triple. First player is Cole Hamels. It's all Phillies. Chase Utley and Cliff Lee. Broad Street. Philly Triple. Number 10 of 36. I think Cliff Lee's arm fell off, didn't it? Still got Hamels and uh, Utley. Not a bad card for Matt. I'll take it as far as some relics. This is the one I want. This is a heavy pack. Ah, it's just got two thick cards. It does not have a book. Just got two really thick cards. No book. Boo is right. Jose Fernandez and Corey Kluber. Parallel cards, 74 of 99, Jolton Joe DiMaggio. 
Joe's an underrated legend. He was phenomenal. Ventura out of 250. Charlie will like the Joe. All right, Craig Kimbrell is the base. Both these cards are very thick cards. <clears throat> Excuse me. Good luck. There's the patches, and it's six of nine. Anybody got a guess of who those patches belong to? Man, you gotta be freaking kidding me. Mike Zaninu on the bottom, Devin Mezzarocco in the middle, and Brian McCann up top. It's catchers. Can somebody explain to me why Mike Zaninu is fouling me around? We got the Yankees, the Reds, and the Mariners. Charlie is the Yankees, so that's he only has one team. Cincinnati is Aaron, and Seattle is Phillip. Three different owners. This is going to random. It's still worth winning, guys. It's disappointing names, but the patches are nice. But, yes, I am very disappointed when I saw those patches. You guys got to look up triples. Is that, like, the worst one to get? Somebody will be happy, but I thought I hit a monster. Patch card. Jay Bruce, number one of nine. Bruce is actually playing pretty well this year towards the end of the year. Jay Bruce, one of nine. It's got a very thick pinstripe there. We will do the random at the end. Unless one of you guys really wants it, let me know and I'll try to figure out a price if you want to try to buy it. Oh, there's, actually, Charlie's not here, so I couldn't anyways. I'll random it. Man. God. That looks like it should be Ken Griffey Jr., Mike Trout, I had visions of glory there. <laughs> let's redeem myself with something it's actually been a lot more interesting lately but I still can't really get myself over the hump with this case nice parallel card 44 50 of Jacob DeGrom, DeGrom and Jolton Joe out of 354 base cards Dave Winfield and Francisco Lindor rookie card I don't understand why that doesn't have a rookie stamp. Why don't the rookies have rookie stamps in this? It's still a rookie card. I do not know. Tops fail. Devin Mezzarocco. Auto jersey number 01 of 75. Rookie auto jersey of Jorge Soler. For the Chicago Cubs. Just came back from injury.
Could be back someday. I hope so. I got him on my team for next year. Relic card. Oh, wow. We're hitting Yachty's in this case. Anti-theft. Yachty or Molina, 7 of 9. Seven of nine, Yadier Molina. Cardinals have been pretty solid throughout the case. Parallels, Alex Gordon and Gregory Polanco. Gordon's out of 250 and Polanco's out of 354. Base cards, Evan Longoria and Joey Gallo. Ted Williams is the next base card. I got two boxes left, by the way. David Ortiz, 17 of 18, 35 at 39. The Red Sox were good on both sides of the case. David Ortiz. Good Red Sox break. Let's hit another team here big with this relic. Eh, it's better than some of those. Manny Machado, 2 of 27. Anthony will like that. Machado having a great year. Or at least he was last time I checked. Orioles have faded off. I don't know if he's faded, but he had a great start. Last box. Oh, too many teams not hit enough. The case was definitely better. The last four than the first four. There's no doubt about that, but still not good enough to justify the price. Unless we hit a couple big cards here. I need something. That triple kind of took a wind out of me. I thought I had about a three, four hundred dollar card. probably be it for triple threads for the year unless something crazy happens i am going to do a top supreme this week stan usual for two out of 250 and dave winfield out of 354 <laughs> it's that good dave nolan ryan and jose abreu <laughs> Gregory Blanco for the Pirates Pirates have struggled in both cases pretty much I think San Diego, 34 of 35, Will Myers, Auto Jersey. <laughs> hey, I milk it out. Take my time. Jersey card, Hinjin Ryu, 32 of 36. Excuse me, 22 of 36. One pack left. Quick break, 40 minutes. 
Does not take long with triple threads. If you got somebody opening Bowman Chrome and triple threads, you need to in 40 minutes. Or if Bowman Chrome in 40 minutes, you need to tell them to slow down. Mike Trout, 49 of 99. What's up, Barry? Barry, where you been? Case is almost over. Greg Maddox out of 354. Goldschmidt and Boggs. Encarnacion. Last two cards. Kristen Yelich, 98 of 99. Kristen Yelich for Anthony. Last card, and then I'll do a recap, and then a random. That's a pretty nice card. I wish it was Brian. I do like Jorge Soler, though. One of three Jorge Soler. That is exceptionally nice patches for Cubs patches. Nice card there. I'll do a recap. Sorry, guys, I couldn't hit better there. Triple Threads is definitely a gamble product, but that was not a success. I am going to do a recap, though, right now. And then if anybody wants any Bowman Chrome or anything like that, I can open boxes. It was definitely better the first half than the second half, but that's not saying that much. They gotta skip the Kenny Vargas autos on premium products, man. Honestly, it's too premium. To have Kenny Vargas autos in it. All right, this is our recap, and then we'll do a random. Thanks, everybody, for filling it out. Sorry for those who did not do well. Uh, only parallel I'm going to show. There was a few nice ones to 50, but we did get a one-of-one -one printing plate of a solid rookie, Addison Russell. Um, relic cards. We got Yadier Molina, 7 of 9. Hamels, Utley, and Lee, Broad Street. Mike Trout, 26 of 27. Jose Fernandez, Young Babe, 35 of 36. Young Babe. David Wright, Late Show, 3 of 18. First Frosh, 9 of 36, Ventura, and an early win, 300 wins. 6 of 18, Legends. We got another Legends, Mark McGuire, teeing off 20 of 27. Other Relics, Pedro Alvarez, 13 of 27. Cargo, Carlos Martinez, 26 of 27. Ian Kinsler at a 36. Jay Bruce at a 9. The Bruce is a thicker card. 1 of 9. Manny Machado, 2 of 27. Hinjin Ryu out of 36. Dominic Brown, 15 of 18. And Mike Zaninu, 4 of 36. Jed Gorko, 18 of 18. I do have enough Bowman Chrome to do a division break if you guys want to do it. Just letting you know before I finish up here. Uh, Ryan Howard, autograph patch, 5 of 9. Mike Zaninu, 7 of 50, auto jersey. 
Corey Soler, one of seventy-five. David Ortiz, seventeen of eighteen. Will Myers, thirty-four of thirty-five. These are all auto jerseys. Christian Yelich, ninety-nine of ninety-nine. Dalton Pompey, fifty-one of seventy-five. Kevin Plewicki, auto rookie, fifty of ninety-nine. Carlos Martinez, auto jersey, 61 of 75. Shelby Miller, 21 of 75. Kenny Vargas, 27 of 99. Depends if we do jumbo or hobby, Alan. Uh, CC Sabathia, 2 of 18. Um, Dustin, actually, I don't have any hobby here, I don't think. It would have to be jumbo. Dustin Pedroia, 4 of 50. Matt Moore, 2 of 99. Aaron Sanchez, 62 of 99. Reimer Lariano, 6 of 99. Dalton Pompey, 14 of 25. Three other special ones here. We got a white whale of Rick Porcello, 77 pitch perfecto. Boston was solid in this for sure. This, I, I like this card a lot. I don't know, have any idea what it would go for, but it's a nice collectible. It's Jorge Soler, and it's got just fantastic patches in it. Looks better in person, I think, than on cam. That's actually a good look at it right there. Soler had a little bit of a rough year, but he's back. You never know what's going to happen at the end of the year. We got a triple, six of nine, Zaninu, Mezzarocco, and McCann. And that is what we will random right now. I was hoping for a little bit more magic. We do have a fun football break tomorrow night, guys. I did it by teams instead of divisions. Uh, I'm going to probably start working on trying to fill that out tonight and tomorrow. But real cheap teams and they're solid products out of good cases so check that out on Facebook and then I'll be lining top supreme tomorrow night I uh, no, Derek I got you covered because you sent no I think you sent me an, a goods recently that I never used because I gave you that five credit maybe does that sound right thanks Michael appreciate it If that sounds right, Michael, if you didn't ever set, yeah, I probably should could use some goods from you. I thought like a couple weeks ago you sent me goods and then I gave you credit instead. Okay. Let's do this random. Good luck. We got Yankees. I go I'm gonna go from top bottom in the random. Yankees, Reds, and Mariners. Top to bottom in random. Four and a four is eight. I'm not sure if I'm going to order tops triple threads for football this year. Baseball was actually better than football last year, and baseball this year is doing okay, but I just never get the excitement out of triple threads that I want to get. There's so many other premium products we can open to. I think I could have got four four cases at the triple threads at direct, but I got one. Yankees, Reds, and Bears. Okay, going eight times. Good luck. Somebody's going to be happy with the win here. One, two, three, four, five, six. God, the Reds were on top forever there. Six, seven. Reds back on top. Eighth and final time. Good luck. Mariners. I'm not sure the Mariners were on top one time there. Mariners do it until the eighth time. 
eight times. Four and a four is eight. Zaninu is the winner of this break for sure. Congrats, Mariners and Philip. Philip had several teams. Congrats to him.